Hi, welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Our product title is Active Learning for Ranking through Expected Loss Optimization. Then let's go for discuss about our project abstract. Active learning is a process whereby students engage in activities such as reading, writing, discussion or problem solving that promote analysis, synthesis and evaluation of class content. In this project, the system proposes a general active learning framework. Expect a loss optimization for ranking. It is applicable to a wide range of ranking functions. The key idea of the proposed framework is that given the loss functions, the samples minimizing the expected loss are the most informative ones. Under this framework, the system derives a novel active learning algorithm for, for ranking which uses function end sample to select the most informative examples that minimizes their chosen loss. Then let's go for discuss about data flow diagram of our project. First, select the web search data set. This data set containing more than 100 documents. This documents containing some user event tag with the information. Then pre-processing. In this stage, we remove the some unwanted tag from this data set by using pattern matching. Then calculate the similarity between all documents. In this stage, first remove the stop words and then find out the meaningful word from the all documents by using stemming. Then calculate the IDF. IDF means inverse document frequency. It's find out the particular content of the documents or how many times repeated in all documents. Then calculate the ELO DCG for all documents. The ELO DCG algorithm are used to find out the most informative examples for the data set. Most informative example means the particular content of the documents repeated in at least 15 documents over the 100 documents. The most informative examples automatically find out by using ELO DCG. The most informative example called by query. Then ELO DCG find out the how many documents selected against the query. Then put ranking the all document based on the ELO DCG rank. Then user search documents by most informative example. The user search some query in query set and search the document against the query. If the top ranked documents available in data set then show the document otherwise not found then let's go discuss about demo for this project first open this project from this specified path and then run this start page then click the start page and then go to the next window the dataset was already displayed in the text field then click the submit button the content of the documents displayed in the text area after clicking the load dataset button the information will be loaded into the table format. Then click the data store button. The information will be loaded into the database. And then click the next button. First, choose the dataset file from the specified path. The dataset containing more than 100 documents. This document containing uh, some XML tag and then some information the content of the document will be displayed into the text field we can able to uh, view the tag top num and uh, title and then descriptions and then click the pre-processing button after pre-processing after preposing the tags are removed from this document and then click the view button the preposing information will be shown in the table format and then click the data store button the preposing information will be loaded into the database and then click the next button this form containing uh, information about the data set this data set containing uh, 101 records and 6 number of columns and 102 rows. Then click the next button. 
after clicking the stemming button the, the stemming means remove the stop word from this document and then find out the meaningful word from this document after clicking the term frequency button the meaningful word how many times repeated in this same document example documents repeated in one time in stop word 99.txt then after clicking the idf button idf means inverse document frequency it calculate the the meaningful word of the particular document how many times repeated in the all documents example the number of documents containing school is 2 then the number of documents containing state is 5 then number of documents containing statement is 1 then click the similarity button after clicking the similarity button it calculates the similarity between all documents by using tf and idf then click the updated button the tf idf weight is successfully updated from this data set for the purpose of calculate the similarity then click the next button then click the correlation button the correlation means it's find out the relationship between all documents the correlation information will be displayed in the text area example comparing stop word 1.txt with other documents example stop word 10.txt correlation between stop word 1.txt is 0.018 something and then stop word 100.txt correlation between documents 0.01.9 something then click the clustering button after clicking the clustering button then click the view button it's it's group the documents by using clustering clustering means group the documents example 21 stop word 1.txt and then 21 stop word 16.txt is the similarity documents and then cal calculate the distance between all documents the information will be shown in the text area example Example distances comparing stop word 1.txt with other documents stop word 1 10.txt with a stop word 1.txt distance is 1.733 something and then stop word 100.txt with stop word 1.txt distance is 1.655 distances and then click the search query button search and then click the search relevant queries button it's find out the most relevant query from the all document by using yellow DCG algorithm and then load the data set and then filtering the queries some unwanted queries are removed from the data set which only contain the meaningful queries example relevance current research information government investment trading civil identify easy European or relate relating US prices and then the file count is 77 the more time repeated in three documents constitute then is three times repeated in three documents and then search the relevant queries example enter the government search the government query contains uh, 15 documents and the retrieval information will be stored into the database. Then click the yellow DCG button. Then calculate the yellow DCG button. It's select the relevant query against the documents. These queries are called by most informative examples and then calculate the ranking. And then show the graph. The graph is great distribution. The documents are bad, are good, excellent, and perfect. Thank you.